All right, let's focus in on a club weighing up their managerial options in Manchester United. Here is Eric Ten Hag assessing himself. Two trophies in two years is not bad. Three finals in two years is not bad. We have to keep going. I'm not satisfied with it. We have to do better. And if they don't want me any more, then I go somewhere else to win trophies because this is what I did my whole career. All right, Gab, what is the latest situation on Eric Ten Hag's position at Manchester United? Well, the latest as of today was that the club were going to go and, uh, and do some sort of review. Now, you'll remember that uh, that's a bit of an ominous uh, term, the, the post-season review, because Pochettino ended the season with, with a win, was all smiles, dinner with Bowley, and then they had a review, and then he was out. Uh, will Ten Hag go down the same road? Personally, I don't know what, what are you going to do, review it because you really needed the data from the FA Cup final to decide whether you want to keep him or not. I, my inclination is I think they've already have a very rough idea of, of, of what they want to do. I think Omar Barada, Ratcliffe, Brailsford, uh, Ashworth, all these guys have been talking all along. And I think whether they keep him or not is going to be based on the other candidates that they can get. With Kieran McKenna calling himself out, um, again, the other mm -hmm. names that are mentioned are Tuchel, Pochettino, uh, and Thomas Frank from, from Brentford. Funnily enough, those are the other three names mentioned in the Time story this morning. Um, Tuchel, Pochettino mean safe pair of hands, uh, but still the potential for, for, for growth. Thomas Frank, perhaps more of an outlier. Uh, they have to decide what type of coach they want, um, and if they've already decided that Tuchel should go, uh, sorry, that Ten Hag should go, and I think they probably have already decided one way or the other, then I would expect them to, to make a push for, uh, uh, for either Pochettino or Tuchel. Mario, does Ten Hag deserve to stay after this FA Cup win? I mean, look, that, that's that's always a, a, a bad sign, right? I think that played out really well in the middle of the park. Amrabat, make him play like how he played for Morocco. That's why he became that you know influential player for Morocco. But Ten Hag had the players that he brought to the team. I think they let him down in the sense of what he expected from them. And I think that is the reason why people are questioning his ability. Should he stay or not? And that's why it's my question too. Should he stay or not? It only comes down to what is your plans for the future? If the plan is not what Man United expect, then I'm sorry. Then, you know, <laughs> my fellow Dutchman that I like a lot has to go. Oh, he doesn't like him that much then, does he? <laughs> uh, Frank, who do you think would be... No, a if, good... he doesn't, if he doesn't do what I expect him to do. <laughs> Frank, who would be a good fit? What type of profile from a manager would be a good fit at this Manchester United side? Well, I really think Mauricio Pochettino could fit, uh, could perfectly fit to uh, to Manchester United because he has some experienced players, but he has also a um, uh, young player that he can work with, like Mainu or Garnacho. I think the 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 the, the, um, the squad is good, is talented. Uh, he needs to work on the chemistry. And what I saw from Pochettino uh, with uh, with uh, Spurs. Uh, sh you know, let me think that uh, uh, that he can achieve something good with Manchester United. The others, we don't know. There are question marks about, let's say, unexperienced coaches. Tuchel, we don't know where, where he can go and what he can do. You know, the last two times with Chelsea and with Bayern Munich, it wasn't convincing in terms of chemistry with the players. Uh, and I feel that like Pochettino has something special. And, uh, and can work with, uh, with the dressing room who have been a, a real shamble for Manchester United. And uh, um, I think he's the only one in the list that I saw that I'm pretty sure can do something good with, uh, with the, the, this club. As for Ten Hag, Ali, it is two trophies in two seasons. Mm. Should he stay on? Is that enough? No, it is not enough. Because if you're <laughs> making a decision based upon one match, in this case winning the FA Cup, then I don't think... You've done your homework. Uh, I think it was Frank that said something about one tree hiding the rest of the forest. Yes, he did. Uh -huh, it was something like that. Yes. Uh -huh. Well, that's exactly yeah. what applies to this particular conversation. If you focus on what happened in the FA Cup and you choose to ignore everything else that has happened with Manchester United this season, then I think you're missing the point. 
Eddie Ten Hag and his time at Manchester United was not a good time. And it wasn't a good time for him, for the club, for the players. This team did not get better, did not improve. He certainly does not get a B, nor do Manchester United. I know that I'm not supposed to give a letter or grade for Why Manchester not? United, so I won't. No, that's <laughs> at some other day, somebody else's responsibility. But I can tell you this, it's not a B. Okay, it's not a B. It's lower. Higher than that. Much Higher. lower. <laughs>